what do you think is going to double in price first? Bitcoin or Hex? And we can move that number around. We can make it oh, harder for X. We can we can option it. Your liquid shitcoin is going to keep going to the freaking moon, but no one but no one can sell. It doesn't matter. It's a number on the screen that no one can realize. That's the whole point. Hex is probably going to be the best performing coin for the next five years, but it fucking doesn't matter. No one can buy or sell any meaningful amount of it. For the record, Alexander says Hex is just, likely to be the best performing out. coin you for five years. No, no, I just want to get the parameters right. Oh. I'm trying to make this bet fair. I'm not sure it's fair unless there's another parameter in there because I'm not used to making these weird single option bets and I don't want to just give you 100 grand unless you have a very high likelihood of losing it at least as, as high as the one that I have, all right? So let, you don't want to play the like, <laughs> you we have to do a 10x and you have to make a 1x. Like Bitcoin could go up 2x and we have to do up 20x. That seems fair. I mean, we'd be 10x, we'd be 10x Ethereum's market cap then, right? That seems like a hard, yeah. a hard thing to do, right? No, not at all. Hex could go to the trillions <laughs> in market cap, but it's all smoke and mirrors. It doesn't matter. No one can ever sell or realize that. That's my whole point. Look, if chat wants to suggest me a way that I don't feel like I'm making a bad bet here, tell it to me. So I think Bitcoin is going to 10K, but then usually the person, I've only done this once before betting somebody or trying to. So I feel like you have to have some other like thing, like failure point to make it fair. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm actually making a good bet, but I'm not convinced. What are you going to give me if I make a coin that gets higher on Nomics than Hex? I don't know, dude. I haven't thought about it. I mean, look, you you call me a loser that I've never done anything, and then you just... Then well, you no, just you're, you're obviously not a loser. You have a paid group. I mean, that's, that industry is a history of just winners. I mean, paid groups are the most highly looked upon thing in all of crypto. It's not like everyone that runs one is a disgusting scumbag. Or actually, wait, yes. Group. Yes, I actually it, it is. Group. It's a re it's a research business. Right. Yeah. Well, you're yeah. so. How many people did you tell to buy hacks? Uh, a few do you know how many? Did. Did. Yeah. Do you a know how many times? In there did. Do you know how many but times? I, the price... I, I, I said I said that I didn't like the ethics around it, the way it's constructed, and like I said, I think it was it had those Ponzi aspects. Do, where do you you understand? It's out. just Bitcoin with a proof of work change. Hex is just no, Bitcoin with a proof of work change. Yes, it is. I'll show it to you. You've got the you've got the incentives Look, and mechanics to get people to encourage them to lock up, and it's the same as a Ponzi. You're trying to do everything you can to get people to not run to the exits, and if and when they do, half it all goes to you anyway. That's a brilliant system. That doesn't make do. any sense. And a brilliant what system. What you're saying on paper, doesn't make any but sense. But it's no good for everyone that's involved. The origin address does not receive any interest from anyone's stakes whatsoever. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. The origin address only received. 50% of the supply in the beginning, it does not get paid when you stake. It does not get paid when you profitably end your stake. The only time it gets anything is if you lie and don't stake like you said you would and you emergency end stake and screw over everybody and don't do what you said you would. Then that penalty gets split between the origin address and all the other stakers. You mean that... screw over everybody like, God forbid, someone tries to sell. That's, that's what you have to prevent at all costs. That's why there's so about? penalties. That's what you said. If you... You get penalized heavily, but you got to try and stop people from selling you, because if one what? one thousandth of people try to sell, okay. it goes to zero. That's a cool story, bro. That's a cool story, bro. Let me ask you a question. I'm launching a fork of Ethereum. Creates 10,000 new coins in the world. About a billion hex has been sacrificed into that. I have to describe it specifically. Look, there's a billion hex billion. that was sacrificed to make the political statement that you believe blockchains are free speech and free speech is a protected human right. Where those those people that from? do that what, what earn address? points. Those points get free coins. Okay. You're telling me that people can't sell their hex, but yet they all just divested of it and all just got rid of it. And yet the price didn't go down. So I don't understand how you're wrong. Everybody just got rid of their hex. They gave, it, they, they gave it to someone else. They didn't sell it. Oh, so, so when you give something away and the price doesn't go down, that's bad or like what? I don't get it. Well, so a billion sold. hacks just got removed from the market, and you can you see who did it. On the market, it got trans. The ownership got transferred to someone else. It did not get sold. So you're so you're saying the market supply just went down? No, it got transferred and what does that from do? one person to another. How does that affect price? What's that got to do with anything? Oh, so so supply doesn't affect price. How is it changing supply? It's because you're you're using this term sacrifice. How is it changing supply? Okay. Do you remember how I told you that the people that stake the longest 
let me try proving this another way to you. Because anyone that sells wrecks, wrecks the system. So you got to try and get them to lock up for as long as possible. Yes, I know. Hey, everybody, listen, I'm going to make Alex's point for him about 10 times so you get it. Alex thinks Hex is going to zero because you can't sell. Alex thinks Hex is going to zero because you can't sell. Alex thinks Hex is going to zero because you can't sell. Alex, do you want to sing it with me? Let's sing it together, bro. Um, because you have one point, a dumb point, but all you do is say it 20 or 40 times. So I want it, it's called in neurolinguistic programming, satiation. I want your brain to get satiated so you don't feel like saying it over and over and over again because it's the only thing you say. Hey, everybody, Alex doesn't think there's enough buy support for you to sell. And, and then it's going to go to zero. Do, it's, called, it's called mimetic desire. Nice. Great. I'm going to repeat it so everyone hears it. Alex thinks Hex is going to zero. Alex thinks Hex is going to zero. Can we shut the fuck up about it now? Have we covered it? Can we do new shit now? Okay. You're the one that's, Let uh, me tell you how many times you could have sold on a double in Hex. You could have bought January 5th, a year and a half ago. And sold on a double, 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 or sold on a fucking double. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. How do you think the price drops seventy percent? How do you think the price drops seventy percent six times? How do you think the price drops seventy percent six times? How do you think that happens? Because people sell the fuck out of it. Because people sell the fuck out of it. Do you know how many millions of dollars of fucking hex I've seen people sell over the last two weeks? Millions and millions and millions and millions. And we see where the money goes. We see where the money goes. But your brain doesn't understand it. We see with our eyes where the money goes when people sell their fucking hex. People dump the hex price constantly, all the time. But because the demand exceeds the supply, the price keeps going up and people keep dumping it and they dump it and they empty their fucking wallets. And it doesn't matter because the god whale who's buying it has more money than all their little pleb bags put together. And that guy stakes forever. I love him. God whale, if you're listening bro, you're the best. Seriously. Consider donating to sends.org. Save your life. Be able to spend that money. You know what I mean? So like you, you just don't understand how liquid the market is. Do you understand how, how many people sell their bags on the way up 380,000%? Do you know how many people sold earlier? Shitloads, tons, tons and tons and tons of people emptied their hex bags earlier. They did everything they could to murder the price over and over again. we got a video of a guy that's like, I emergency end staked my 500 million hex and paid a, a penalty. But in reality, so I made a 2.5x. He sold half a billion hex. But you don't realize that because you're not looking at the chart. I have personally seen tons of people make millions of dollars. And you're telling me it's not happening because you don't understand that the demand exceeds the supply. There's guys with billions of dollars that want hex. I had a phone call with a billionaire. He bought a lot. Like so I what just, we can say here is that when... Hex's You're just dumb, dude. Dumped seventy. Where it's pre-viral. You're looking opportunity in the face, but thinking that it's not opportunity because you're retarded. You don't know what you're doing. You're looking at the most potentially profitable thing. You literally said that you think this is going to be the highest performing asset in the next five years, but you're too dumb to buy it. What is wrong with because your brain, dude? It. Because because no one can sell it, mate. Sell it on a double, like just happened eleven times. Like what are you talking about? You okay. don't understand okay. what you're talking about. You should go to t.me forward slash hex trading and just ask them, hey guys, can you show me some wallets that have tried to nuke the price and go look at how much money they made? Millions I'm, and millions uh, and millions of soon. real dollars. I'm going to wrap up soon because I've, I think I've made my point. And, uh, Alex thinks hex is going to zero, everybody, but not Bitcoin and not Ethereum, even though they drop 85 and 95% every few years. Not those ones because they're special. They're unique. But hex is. Mm -hmm. No, they're not free markets, dude. No, they're not. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to love you and leave you. All right. Um, we've got one of the best fundamental track records over the past eight years. He needs money. He wants you to join his paid group. group.